Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm sharing with you the most amazing crochet and productivity planner for 2024, including how I use mine, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I know, it's so great, right? And the best part, the calendar, it comes in two parts. I'll explain why in a little bit. But the calendar includes December of 2023 and January of 2025. So you can plan straight through both holidays this year and 2024. There's also monthly planning pages where you can get all of your tasks assigned. And I'll show you an easy way of making sure you can do that. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. I love all the colors. I love the yarn, little yarn balls in there. So, 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 so cute. So what is included? You get a planner and a calendar. I made them into two separate files just because the calendar you can literally print out on double-sided and it works out perfectly. You don't have to do anything special for this. But of course, for the planner, you can print off as many pages as you like of the different pages, whichever one fits your organizational style. And some of them work really great back to back. Some of them you probably want to print out just individually or back to back the same page. So it's up to you how you want to print those out. Isn't that so cute? So there is 15 planning pages and 29 calendar pages, not including the front covers and the back cover, literally just the planning pages inside. There also is an extra page that has a vertical spine. If you want to put it into a binder, you can just put your binder spine underneath this and cut it out to fit and slide it into any binder. So that is an extra page also included. Let's dive into the planner. If you print it out back to back, double sided, this is exactly how it looks. So we have our front page, obviously, our next page in. A little bit about you, you can just fill it in. Goal trackers, let me get it in the center here. There we go. What you wanna get done today, tomorrow. Now why I put today and tomorrow, because lots of the time if I'm planning today, so that you can plan it, Okay, let's just talk about today because there's a lot to unpack with today. So there's two hour increments and that is kind of like a block schedule, which I find is super useful instead of just detailing every 15 minutes you have to do this or that. So every two hours it changes, just kind of like how high school was. So that boosts your productivity. So I know the first block, that's when I get my kids ready. From 9 to 11, I kind of get my husband ready. And then from 11 until 1, I can get my stuff done. Lunchtime, kids are home, and then evening time. So I have all my blocks. So it's super easy to assign what you're doing in a larger chunk. And it also helps you not feel bad if you're like 15 minutes late or 15 minutes early. Also, I divide all my tasks into five, 15, or 45 minute tasks. I don't do anything that's longer than 45 minutes. So I just have that easy on the side. You can keep track of how many balls you crocheted that day or knit if you're a knitter. Your steps if you are on a fitness program and of course your water, what you're thankful for, super cute. Goal tracker, you can just put down the goal and why you want to achieve it and what action steps you need to do to achieve that goal and when you started the action steps and when you achieved them, little notes. So you can print out this page for as many goals as you have. There's five goals in a page, but you can print it out and get yourself totally going if you are into setting yourself some goals. Now, on the other side of today, I have tomorrow. So if I am working on my today list and I'm like, oh, gee whiz, I need to do something tomorrow, it's right there. So this is one of the pages. Let me get it over here. This is one of the pages that I do print back to back. So I do today and tomorrow. Then I can take the tomorrow and fill out my next today of whatever I didn't get done. But it's a nice spot, also a big place for notes. Also, people you have to call, people you have to email, some things you have to find, because this is my life. I always have to find something, things I need to organize, and things I need to buy. Now, not that I need to shop every day, but a lot of the time when I do go shopping, I have forgotten what it is. I do have some sheets in here for shopping, but if you have a little spot here, you can just jot it down. And even if these sheets can just be left in a stack by your desk or by your bed, and just take one every day and get all of your things done. 
So that is today and tomorrow. Then we have this week. So broken down into the seven days. Priorities for the week, what you're working on works in progress, a little spot for notes, and again, a little spot for next week. So if you have something like, oh yeah, I wanna do that, you can just write it down right here. And then when you get your next week ready, you just transfer that straight over. On the back of this week, this is where I put my tasks. So I do print this page double-sided. So this week plus tasks on the back. And my tasks I divide into five minutes, 15 and 45. For me, I can't commit to any more than 45 minutes. I never, I don't have an hour, it's impossible. So 45 minutes, and if it's a huge task, I just break it down to be like, I'm gonna work on this huge task for 45 minutes. So I, I totally break down my tasks including, I had a big heap in my closet, I'm like, one task, 15 minutes, was clearing the floor. Then it was clearing the desk. Then it was getting to my sewing machine. So I just broke it down into chunks so that you can just come back and be like, yep, I cleaned off the floor. Not like I ate the whole elephant. So this really helps break down your tasks where you know you have five minutes, you can get something done. You just pick something from your five minute column and go and get it done. So also beside, if you're doing the back-to-back, -back, from tasks to to-do, I have my to-do arranged, so I have things to organize, things to crochet, inside the house, outside the house, things online, and things that are social, so events or anything like that. Anything I need to do on the computer, I just use that as online. Inside the house, anything. Outside the house, anything. Fixing your car, gardening, doing any chores you have to do outside of the house, all of that can go here. Next page over, ideas. What I find, I don't need it very often, but sometimes throughout the year, I need a piece of graph paper. I wanna trace something out, I wanna measure something, I wanna see if something fits. So this is an idea page. You can use it just like lined paper to write things down, or you can use it as graph paper if you want graph paper. So it's all already ready for you in your planner. You don't have to go and get a page from your kids' school books. Now shopping, I have two pages for shopping. One is by location. So first shopping mall, second shopping mall, a big box store if you have one, stationary supplies if that's your jam, things online, things Amazon. Now this works for me, but if you, you also have a spot to customize what your six shopping destinations are. I like putting my shopping list this way so I know if I'm going to this shopping mall, I know that I can be looking for all of these things. Or if someone is going to the big box store, I can be like, hey, look for these things over there. So it just kind of keeps track of things in an organized kind of way. And you can also do your shopping list by category. So kitchen, household, personal, seasonal, deals, and yarn. So deals, this is anything you wanna find on sale. Like you wanna buy something, but you need the price to come down. Deals is where you would be putting that. Something you're keeping an eye on and you're gonna get when it is affordable. Yarn, of course, we just have to have that there. Now here, the Mac Daddy, here's our project notes. I love this. So this is how I've been keeping track of my projects for a couple years now, although this is much prettier this year. So it has everything you need to know about your pattern. So the hook, the chain hook, like if you use a different size for your chain, the multiple it's gonna be your starting chain the name of it, when it started, when it's, you expect it to be done and when you actually finished it. I don't really worry about that too much, but I definitely do this section straight. Also this section for yarn, so where you bought it, how much it was, dye lot, fiber, like all the information about your yarn is here and all the information about your pattern is here. So where you got the pattern from, if it's a video tutorial, if you printed out the pattern, and here's a good one, your pattern location, where is the pattern? Where is it? Hmm? You can have a pattern, but if you don't know where it is, it's a problem. So for me, I keep mine in binders. If you wanna see how I do that, let me know in the comments. I could make a video about that as well. What you wanna make it for, if you need to buy anything, if you need to find something. This is a general theme in my life, I need to find things. Uh, time spent on it, skill level, would you make it again? So just kind of those, that information about it. The colors, now this might only be one color, it's fine, but you have a spot for eight colors, and you also have a spot for how many balls of yarn you used per color. So instead of writing it down or keeping your yarn labels or keeping track of it in a different way, you can just fill in a circle each time you complete a ball of yarn. Then when you come back to it to see how much yarn did I use, you'll just be like, oh, I used three balls of color A and one ball of color B. 
just like that. You can even do a half. You don't have to fill in the whole ball if you just use half a ball. Just scribble in half of one of those circles. And then, of course, you're rating how much you like the pattern and a spot for notes. Now, on the back of that page, this is also a page that I do print double, I double side this page. So these I have, this is like a lifeline for me. I need these pages in my life. So the back side of that page is Pattern Maker. It goes with the same pattern. So the name of it starting, because what I need to know, if you want to make it again, how did it start? Like, what did you do to begin? right? Did you work into the seventh chain? Did you go into the third? So it has a spot for it. Work into the blank chain, rows or rounds. Again, the same hook information, just in case you didn't write it on this side, or if you're just using this side, if you're making your own pattern. And then up to 33 rows or rounds. But the good thing about this, it has a spot where you can write down how you started that row or round and how you ended it. The middle part, of course, generally can be the same, but sometimes we start different, sometimes we end different, sometimes the middle's different. So this is a, how I keep track of my patterns when I make them. So this it would be your very own pattern maker. After that, we have pattern tracker. Now, pattern tracker is all the patterns you have and where they are, because we need to know where they are and what that pattern was for. So it could be for Christmas, it could be for Sabrina, it could be for Tony, it could be for any sort of holiday, baby shower, babies, anything. You write that down here. Then when you're looking for something to do, you can go back to this page and be like, oh, where's something for Sabrina? And you can kind of go down and be like, oh yeah, I wanted to make that right? So this column is amazing. And of course, location, we need to know where stuff is. I have another one, very similar, wannabe whips. So these are patterns you don't have yet, but it's something you wanted to do. So maybe it's a hat pattern or a video tutorial. You can just be like, oh, it's on Krista's channel and it could be for winter. It could even just be for the season. And of course, then there's a password page. I also print this out individually double-sided because there's a lot of websites and a lot of passwords that I need. So website and username, if it's your email or whatever, and then your password. So this is a lifeline. Now the lines are a bit small, but what you can do is just write in every other line and that gives you the option of keeping filling it in or just printing it out more. So that's why those are a bit small, but it looks so cute when you use it. And then that is the end of the planner. Moving on to the calendar. Da, da, da. Love the calendar. So again, you can print, you can use them together. They don't have to be separate. This is separate because you can literally print it double-sided straight from the beginning. So no need to do anything fancy about it. You can just print this off straight. So year at a glance. 2024, all of it. And then the calendar on this side for the month and also your five minute task, 1545 goals and shopping. I always keep a shopping spot anywhere I could write it down so that I can just go and check to be like, oh, did I get that extension cord? Or did I find that? Or did I get extra paprika? Like whatever you need, just jot it down. It has a spot, it has a home. So this page goes perfect with the month. So I print these back to back as well. And there's one for every month, of course, all the way up until January, 2025. So if you are planning for the holidays, you just keep on planning. All of the month is right there. So you don't have to panic and run out and swap planners. You can just keep using the same one. Now I want to show you how I use mine. Here is my planner. I keep it, I guess it's a one and a half inch binder. A four ring. Now you could use a three ring if you're in the West. If you are in a place with only two rings, please look for a four ring. It just keeps your pages from going anywhere. I like to start with a page protector just because it really protects all of these holes. All the hole punches, this will really save it. You just throw this page over top and you're, you are good to go. So then I just label my dividers. This is 10 dividers. So I have today, so cute. I have this week. I have this month, that's what I call the calendar. I have to do. I have to buy my shop by categories. I have projects. So these are my project notes. Then I have my pattern tracker. 
palette patterns. I have my wannabe whips here. And then I have my ideas. So this is my graph paper or whatever I need. I have this right here. And then the other, the last tab, this is for your passwords and your personal information. So this page would go in there as well, just to kind of keep yourself a little private at the very back of your binder. So that is how I keep myself organized. How do you do it? Let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in this, it is available for download, both letter size and A4. You can just print it off as many times as you like. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Have a super productive 2024 and stay hooked.